Welcome back, Fluffy Brick Builders, to another build and review. Today, we got Lego Jurassic Park set 76961, ages 12 and above. And this is the Jurassic Park Visitor Center T Rex and Raptor attack. Look at all that. And we got a nice little bone statue. And we got the kids. For minifigures, we got Lex Murphy, Tim Murphy, which are the two kids. And then we have Dr. Ellie Sattler, Dr. Alan Grant, Ray Arnold, Dr. Wu, another Velociraptor, and we can't forget the big old T-Rex. So what we're going to do, we're going to build this and then tune in at the end for an honest, in-depth review. Let's get building. The build is now complete, and boy, was this an absolutely fun, entertaining build that I would definitely be building again. Hands down, one of my most favorite Jurassic Park builds ever, besides the T-Rex breakout. Let's start off with the T-Rex, which is the biggest piece in this whole set. The T-Rex is coming in with the two leg pieces, one tail, two arms, 
half head and then a jaw attachment. You do have some piece, pieces on top where you can, I don't know, if you want to ride them. But you will notice that there are some scar marks on it. And that is from when the Raptor and the T-Rex were fighting each other in the visitor center. It's got a big open wide jaw. Like I said, it's the tallest object in this whole set, which in my opinion puts the ratio of the building compared to T-Rex. The building needs to be a little bigger or the T-Rex needs to be a little smaller. We got some more torn uh, scars on the legs. Same coming up to the neck piece. He, do, he has big feet that allow him to stand firmly. Both the legs, the arms, and the head, and the jaw are all mobile, and same with the tail, if you wanna turn or change the position. Here we have the Raptor, which also has block on top, if you want to have the opportunity to, I don't know, ride the Raptor. Also, same thing, tail piece, two leg pieces, two arm pieces. You had to put a black stick inside its head in order to attach the neck to the body open jaw which allows you to be able to open the mouth and maybe put a minifigure inside and also has grab hands if you want to have it hanging from a railing hold on to the door that neck does move change it in any direction same with the leg the tail the two arms this raptor can be in any position for any role play or any situation you're playing even if you want to be able to just attack the t-rex here is our first minifigure, Dr. Wu, with his uh, doctor-like outfit, which makes him look more professional because he is a scientist. No print on the pants, it's just strictly white. The only print is the printed top. He does have two expressions on the head, and we do have a look at the back of his shirt, which does actually have a print on it also. But Dr. Wu, very simple design, but he causes so much problems in the actual movie. Next we have is Ray Arnold with his golden glasses, curly black hair, open suit top as if the tie was just undone. Got a little bit of chest hair running down the center with a strict solid gray pants. And he does have back print on his shirt but he just doesn't have back print on his pants and here folks this is ray arnold a person that didn't survive long enough in the movie next we have is ellie sattler which also has two faces this is her scared face she also has a blonde hair look that kind of covers over her face the chest piece is a dirty blue tank top coming down with gray tannish khaki shorts with her boots i think her boots in the movie were brown so i feel like that should have been brown and she also has a brown belt now the question is does she have a back print she has back print on the shirt no back print on the pants and this is ellie sattler who gets definitely chased by the raptor our first child minifigure, which is Lex Murphy, which I feel like she was a beast as a character. She's got a brown tank top with blue pants, jeans kind of thing, with a long, darkish blonde hair with solid blue back design and a solid black t-shirt design. Also, she also has multiple faces, and this is her worried face next child we have is tim murphy which this little guy went through so much in the movie but he's rocking his nice jacket with striped t-shirt brown pants his nice orange like hair this is his worried face and he is also coming in with a back shirt design and solid gray back this figure, just like the other child, is a short legs, 
which you cannot put on any seat or anything like that, but you can still stand. And so folks, this is Tim Murphy, solid actor, solid character in the actual movie. Now we have the infamous Alan Grant with his button up top, his bandana under his neck, his solid tan pants. He's also got two faces too. This is his undecided, angry kind of look face. He's got a little bit of dirt on his face also, and he's rocking his brown hair. And we go on to the back, and he's also got his blue t-shirt print on the back. My question is, where is Alan Grant's cowboy head? Where is it? It was in the breakout set. Where is it in this one? Now here we have is the skeleton which is supposed to be the T-Rex skeleton to resemble the one that is in the center of the doorway as soon as you enter in. It's just a fossil of a T-Rex, which was actually an intense, very tedious build to come close with. You have the T-Rex head, which kind of looks very, from the side doesn't look like a T-Rex head, but from the front it does. You also have a sticker on the bottom for the plate saying it's a T-Rex. And then you have the rib bones on each side, feet on the bottom, long tail. And this is the fossil that you would see when you first enter in to the visitor center that actually gets destroyed by the T-Rex when the T-Rex and Raptor go against each other in the visiting center. Here we have the front of the visitor center where you got decorative flowers running along the whole outer side. The two water patches that make it look like the fall that would be running along the staircase in the actual movie. Then you got more flowers on the side. Six big bay open windows. Fossil sticker designs. I wish these were plated, but unfortunately they're not. But these are sticker designs. You have red railing on top of the edge and then it's professional looking architecture of the peak of like a uh, tiki or t yeah tiki hut kind of look thing where you would get in like forest and stuff just like in the movie now to the fun part let's get inside here we are now inside when you first walk into the visitor center you're going to get a glass print of a dinosaur on each side including a raptor on this one which is see-through glass panel then you're going to enter and you're going to see when dinosaurs ruled the earth which is a signage but i'll get to the end if you stay at the end i'll show you what happens when you hit the trigger in the back here we are in dr Wu's lab where there is a lot to talk about you got the teles uh, ingredited microscope you got dr Wu's computer with his keyboard this was a plated keyboard, but a stickered screen. So you had to put the sticker on the screen, but the keyboard was already pre-printed. The little uh, thing where the mosquitoes in, the ember where the mosquitoes in, that is a printed brick also with a light lamp to look at that brick. You also got two blue lights up here. Now, if you want to get really into it, look into Dr. Wu's lab even some more. He's got, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Mr. Jen. And you also got the robot with his arm moving the eggs in the incubator. You can also raise it and close the incubator top so the eggs can now grow. But let's go to the dining room where all the food is. Several times we're in the dining hall in the movie where all the food's laid out and stuff. So. We're gonna talk a little bit about what's in here. And yes, the infamous jello. The infamous jello that starts shaking on his on Tim's spoon that he knows trouble's coming is right there. Then you got a plate of all kinds of cake, brownie, cookie, ice cream. You got big cake in the back, oranges in the back too. You got candlelight. It's very dining room like in micro spec. I will say this, I was missing the actual tan piece 
for that so I just used the uh, dark brown which was technically for the chair so when I do get this one replaced I'll replace that and then I'll put the two uh, dark brown pieces on the bottom of the chair so that's pretty much what's missing on this I was only missing one piece but it wasn't like something for me to stop the build so I'm gonna keep on trucking now we're back at the back of this and I'm gonna show you there's a little button trigger over here that if you push if you push in it pops this off as if the t-rex coming and breaking out it pops this back piece right off you can also take this if you wanted to and you could have it hang or dangle on your t-rex it's totally up to you but that will go right back on there and it just looks as if it's ripped just like it was in the movie so guys this is the visitor center t-rex raptor attack 693 pieces it took me about two and a half hours to build it's a phenomenal set i wish it was way bigger but i will take it as is let me know down in the comments what you thought of this set are you getting this set have you had this set are you building it right now what's your thoughts about it? let me know down in the comments below i'll see you guys all on the next one i hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.